on. <laughs> Welcome back, Internet. We're playing Holdover still. I'm still here with Amanda. Playing Hi. this game. Alright, so I'm gonna drop down. And Gunny's here too. Oh, Aren't you Gunny? How's how what what does he have to say? Uh he has to say, I'm a really sleepy cat. I'm gonna curl up by this hot ass laptop. That sounds like a cat. I should have quick saved. It occurs to me now. You're dead. You're dead, son. You're not gonna make it. Yeah, probably. I don't have a whole lot of air left. Oh, but there's an air pocket. I'm not gonna make it there. Maybe I'm gonna make it there. Uh, no, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, oh, was. Uh, damn it. Okay. Seconds. Yeah, it's always seconds. It's always seconds with you. Just seconds. The hell's your fucking problem? All right, there we go. That seems like a good number. 73 is higher than we were last time. Oh, but we might not make it. <laughs> yeah, it just reminds me of somebody talking about like, you know, I bet Dead or Alive would be way better if the if the steel horse that Bon Jovi talked about was an actual like robotic horse. <laughs> That would make that song ten times more awesome. I'm a cowboy on the cybernetic horse I ride. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, so I gotta go through here. This is the second most frustrating part in the game, because if I fail this, I have to do, like, all of it over. Q save. Because, so I have to go over this, and then I have to shit. I have to shit all over the place. All right, so I have to turn off the lasers. I have to get back up. I have to go up and around. And I gotta go get some air. Then I have to get past those laser beams that were there before the timer turns back on. And I have to break through this, this set of bricks before the lasers turn back on. You're not gonna make it. So then, after I do that, now that the bricks are broken, you made now it. Now that the bricks are broken, I have to do it again. Now the thing is, if I quick load, all the bricks come back. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Damn it, Eric Chahi. Eric Chahi. He didn't. There we go. He didn't make this game. I know. I just keep saying his name for some reason. Do you like legit want to try to play Heart of Darkness? Yeah. Because that would make me a scared little baby. Uh, that's what we do on this show. I don't want to... Turn grown, real people into scared babies. Shit. Shit. Jump, jump, jump. Ah, damn it. Now wow. I have to do that whole fucking part again. Fortunately. No. I was able to security system the first time. So I only have to do part of it again. And I also don't have to grab all those hearts. Because I already grabbed all of them. Except for the ones at the bottom. So this is kind of the annoying part because you just sit here and just kind of wait. And then I got to do this again. And then I want to go, I guess it doesn't matter if I quick save or not because if I do, then I am back to where I was. <laughs> oh. All right, so we go down. We go around, we go up, we do a loop-de-loop. -loop. We go through, and a boom, a booyakasha. Shit, don't grab that. Don't, don't, don't. don't stop grabbing it. I want you to grab things, I'll fucking tell you. <laughs> Just leave well enough alone. You think you're well enough alone. Oh, come on, come on. Gotta go, go, go. Oh, there we go. Are you gonna try to get those hearts? Ooh. Yeah, it's because I was about to die. Uh, I guess. All right, see. you gotta turn off the security lasers. Then I gotta climb through this shit, all the way fucking around. Gotta do this thing. Go over here. Grab the network support guy. All right. Ah, all right. Decided to grab those hearts. So now, while I'm doing that, I gotta do. I gotta turn on these machines. Gotta find the right one. I think it's this one. Network doors are unlocked. Cool. Now I can go into network room B. Now I gotta get it back before all the lasers turn on again and kill me. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> 
Come on. Fuck. Get. All right. Cool. And then for then we have to go back here. We have to turn the lasers off again so that we can go to the next part where there's a whole fuck ton of lasers. <laughs> Um, actually, I think I can grab the, the hearts while I'm up there. Yeah. And I can go back down and do it again. One scientist was just like, man, making lasers is the only thing I learned how to do in college. <laughs> but I'm on this research At base. fucking laser, I got, laser institute. <laughs> I gotta make myself useful somehow. The fucking institute, uh, Michigan Institute of Lasers. <laughs> M-I-L. Friendship is magic. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta jump off of this. When it gets up here before it crushes us, then we gotta climb over here. We gotta get past the lasers again before those turn back on, and we have to hope we don't drown. Just like every board Fuck. meeting at this research facility, it's like, we found a new cure for muscle atrophy. Congratulations all around, except for Joe, who just made a new laser. Guess we'll throw this one in the spike pit. Okay, it looks like I turned that on. I wish I could figure out how the fuck I'm supposed to get those. Because I don't know how. Uh, jump better? I can't. I can't jump out. Of, I can't <laughs> jump out of the water. So I guess I'll grab those other things before the security turns back on and all the fucking lasers. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sham on. I gotta turn the lasers off. Yeah. It seems like a really inconvenient security system. You imagine if they, you imagine if someone made a thing to turn the lasers off, they'd make it, you know, a switch. <laughs> well, no, you gotta, you gotta keep out them terrorists. Terrorists <laughs> keep flipping switches. What? I'm gonna make this button turns things off in 30 seconds. <laughs> turn the lasers off and then destroy the computer. Well, then they might just turn on. And you can't turn them off again. That'd be even worse. Uh, alright, alright. Alright, we have enough air this time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, go up there. Breathe. Yes. So, that part was less frustrating because I did it a million times before. <laughs> Jeez, you got, like, right in there. Shit. I gotta do this again because I'm gonna need all the air I can to get out. Gotta climb. Gotta crawl. Gotta... Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go fast. Going. Going. Climbing. Climbing. Running underwater. Running underwater. And then, like, the second... The second that international relations go bad, Joe, the laser scientist, finally finds his calling in life and just decides to make the base so safe by filling it up the butt with lasers. Filling it the fuck with lasers. Oh my god. So many fucking lasers everywhere. God damn. They'll go left and right. It'll be great, guys. You'll see. And also, let's Nothing not bad finish half the floor. Here. Let's just leave a lot of it uncarved cave and only put some elevators and platforms you have to jump between. Everything has to go into the laser budget. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can get to these now. And I need those because I need everything I can to get to the next level. This is very undignified. Beep boop, stand below me so I can laser you. Beep boop, stop stand below me so I can laser you, bitch. <laughs> stop being so coy. Come back here. Damn it. <laughs> so what you doing later? <laughs> okay, now I need to go over here. Because that'll take me back to com room B. I gotta climb around. Chris, Chris Cross, go make me climb, climb. I don't think that's how the song goes. So then, oh, uh, I gotta go. Oh yeah, jump through that. I'm doing like a triathlon. No biathlon. There ain't no shooting. There ain't no skiing. A decathlon. What the hell's a decathlon? That's like ten events. Yeah. What are you doing a decathlon? <laughs> A bunch of shit. Okay, that describes life. Ten things. You describe life, yeah. Amanda. Life is a decathlon. Life's a Put that on a poster. 
All right, so now I gotta go back and I gotta brave the gauntlet again. Gotta jump on this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Gotta do this thing. Gotta not die like an idiot. So I gotta. So I discovered the secret is not holding left or right when I want to do it, because that will grab onto the walls and make me fall slower. Don't do that. You get any message from Sam? No, actually. He's enjoying that new ch computer way too much. Or he went to sleep. Damn it, Sam. As he has want to do. It's my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. Good thing you can quick save while ducking. That was a very good feature to implement in this game. And now I'm just manu- Oh. Why wouldn't you be able to? Well, that was stupid. Shit. Whoop. Uh, undo. Oh wait, I can actually save. Save there. And let's got a- then we got a quick load. And... Stop getting hit! I'm trying not to. It's hard because I saved while I was ducking and then I accidentally quick loaded. All right, now fortunately I can turn off the security systems here. Temporary laser grid offline, go, 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 go. Oh shit, don't grab onto that. Stop grabbing that. What's this girl's name? Uh, Marie. That's right. M-A-R-I-E. Yeah. So now I gotta wait for this thing to go all the way over to the left so that it goes to the side and I don't have to wait for it when it when I jump down in there because all the time I'm waiting is time that I am not breathing. And that was a stupid way to do that. Also, I like that the blood down there kind of spells KO. <laughs> you got knocked out. It's you did. Also, this is not how water works. Well, you're saying that there shouldn't be a laser going through. No, it? I'm saying that I'm saying that since there was so much water in the top, there should be equal amounts of water because water likes to have equal amounts of pressure. Oh yeah. What's well, a different board? Oh, damn it. It's more like a Niels bore, am I right? But there also should probably not be lasers through it. Uh, no. You can put a laser through water. It'll bend a little- it'll bend weird if it's going from air to water because of refractive properties of water. Alright, so... Now we go in here, and we contact the dudes. Please send the message you want to send. Help me, help me, is anyone there? Sending SOS. It worked. Strategic boob covering. <laughs> gonna get out of here alive. Someone noticed me. Help! Help! And now the game. Now, the, now we get a completely different part of the game. What? The amount of time that passed after reset her signal is unknown. Her efforts seemed fruitless. There do was you, no response. Do we win? Oh, so we didn't win. She became weak from hunger and exhaustion. You just go back to sleep in your tomb. And then. And then. And then, they were in the I, sky. And... Th wh what? Axe 1, bogeys at 6 o'clock. This joke will take me down easy. Yeah. What the... It's Axe 2, what? Gotcha, huh? Ex did you, Excuse did you me? Did you get hit earlier? What, didn't you expect this part to be in the game? <laughs> what? I'm getting an SOS. Did you get hit? What? So this is um, the third most frustrating part in the game because... Oh man. This is a long part. So... Did you become an airplane? No, I'm playing another character. I'm playing the search and rescue guys now. Oh. What? Whoa! 
Whoa! Why are there death dirigibles? Because <laughs> uh, this is how the war is fought. There are dirigibles that shoot cannonballs <laughs> at jets. What? So what? now the game becomes a bullet hell. And you notice that counter up at the top? That's how many things I have to shoot down before I get past this section. Oh, alright. This is worse than frog fractions. Shit! And now I have to restart it. Oh! Mother f It's okay, I got pretty okay at this part, so hopefully it won't take me 20 tries like it took the first time. But these guys shoot at random, so there's no real pattern to predict. So unlike a bullet hell, it's not even about memorization. This is just fucking shoot down all the things Survive. and don't get hit. Survive. And you can tell they're evil because they've got skulls on yeah. them. Yeah. Fucking cannon dirigibles with jet engines in the back. Why not? But shoot. Ah, stop shooting me. Only I'm allowed to shoot. Oh, man. Yeah. Only I'm allowed to shoot Shit, me. as I go over these mountains slash clouds and ocean. Yeah, what if he... What is... Uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop shooting at me. It makes it hard to shoot back. So it's this weird... Th it's this weird thing with with these kinds of shooters that you have to you have to keep your eye on your plane more than you do on the thing you're shooting. Damn it! I thought I shot you down. I am just. Is this the part where you said the music comes back in a weird way? Yeah. I guess it makes it comes back in a way that really kind of makes sense. Because that's the kind of music you expect for this. It's this weird, upbeat, actiony kind of music. Stop shooting so much, I am almost done with this. I want to be done. I like that you can't shoot down the cannonballs. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. No, fuck! Oh. It's down to three. I got greedy. You were down to one. Yeah. And then it comes into this part where it only has bass and harpsichord. Why it has bass and harpsichord is a very strange combination, but I'm guessing it's the MIDI limits. Whatever, it's badass. And if I stay close to them, I can fire a lot faster, because I only I'm just allowed to only have three bullets on the screen at any time. So three seems to be about the limit. It's, it's, this 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 area seems to be about the place where I'm constantly shooting three bullets and taking them off that the screen. That sucks because they seem to be able to shoot as many bullets at you as they want. Huh? Yeah, no. Some of them can fire like four at the four at a time. Come on, die, die, die! Please die. Eat a dick. Suck my balls. Suck my nuts. Eat my truck nuts. Truck keys go on truck nuts. I drive a truck. Uh. Whew, that was close. Hit detection. This is like memorizing your hitbox. Don't want to get boxed into a corner. Holy shit, there's so many bullets. I'm actually kind of disappointed that if your plane gets hit, it doesn't lose clothing. Huh? But I'm disappointed if your plane gets hit, it doesn't lose an article of clothing. <laughs> yes! Oh, shit. We get to see the plane boobs. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of places you can see plane boobs online. Uh, don't remind me. Uh. Mission completed. Return to base. Wait, did you get hit again? No, if I did, my ship would explode. Haven't you seen anything? <laughs> Several times, actually, but that was in another reality. I'm getting that SOS signal again. Is it from an enemy then? No. <laughs> then, 
Is it a ghost? <laughs> that ghost making SOS? <laughs> Wait, I'm picking up EVPs on the ghostometer. <laughs> yes, it's a ghost well, SOS. Well, it is 300 years in the future. Not a breakdown or a ghost. Well, that still hasn't been confirmed yet. That you're not a ghost. <laughs> a ghost doomed to perpetually jump on spikes. The northiest northeast that never northed. We hurried to the signal's location. Billions and billions of miles away. <laughs> So now I gotta do this really, really annoying part again. Cause that's- Oh boy. Cause there's a place where I have to go where I can talk to the pilots. Hey. 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 Answer us. Oh, she's not alive. Let's go. Yep. That was a good run. <laughs> Just gotta wait for these to sync up. How was your day, Matt? It was okay. It was all right. I, yeah? Yeah, work was... I had a lot of conference calls in a row. Ooh. I, it just means I'm talking with customers, getting work done. Getting all the work done, working overtime, T TCB, jumping on spikes like an ass. Taking care of business, working overtime. Uh -oh. I don't know anything else from that song. You all right there? It's gonna be okay. Yeah. Oh yes. Stop making her. Wow, I did that much faster than I've done it in previous occasions. With less blood. Yeah. Oh, I can go over there and get healing. And I can drop like an ass. Drop the ass. Drop the ass. Gotta be all covered up to meet your rescuers. Yeah. So now it makes a little bit more sense why this music's here. Cause this is Earth music. What? I don't know. It's the music that they play on Earth. Earth? Yeah. The planet Will Smith's from? Yeah. That he welcomes aliens to? <laughs> yeah, there's one thing that, um... Uh... I've been, um... Okay, so, remember, they said, Oh man, I bet if I went in here, someone would find me. Yes. Also, there are different endings depending on how damaged your costume is. I'm sure there are. Two people with thick clothing are here. They seem to be surprised. <laughs> they speak? Is that a person? It's a weird language. How 
old are these ruins? Spider can't carry two. Please send a rescue party. I'm glad the English survived over 300 years. Yeah, the world was ruined by the war, and a lot of co continents got covered by water. <laughs> they you know. The story's really old. Basic history. I've been handed over to the archaeologists. Oh, God! A fate worse than death. That's to hang out with archaeologists. Resources are scarce. <laughs> yeah. The end. Who is she talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was holdover. Huh. Why'd you... That's alright. I really hope all the audio doesn't get fucked. Eh. Data loss. Whatever. Yeah. You just put in Manfred Man's Earth Bands Blinded by the Light on the loop. <laughs> 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 alright. And I'm sure the experience will be about the same. <laughs> well, until next time, good night, Internet. Good night, Internet.